Hello, I'm Tom. And I'm Elon. And today we're going to be counting down the 10 lamest kids on the web. Woo! These lads are some of the lamest blokes to have ever lived. Take it away, Ellie. Number, Number 10. 10. Paul McCartney. I was at the park yesterday and saw Paul take sweets from a child in a pram. And he didn't even share with me. Jerk! How he has been knighted and I have not, I have no idea. Also, he plays bass, which is a dumb, stinky instrument. Number nine. nine. Scotland. I've never been there, but it doesn't sound all that great. Number, Number eight. eight. George Harrison. George said he was a better guitarist than me and tried to beat me up in an alleyway. I was far too strong and defeated him easily, of course. Even if he did have a machine gun that shoots out knives and also the knives were made out of lava. Number, Number seven. seven. Everyone who isn't subscribed to Coolest Kids on the Web. Uh-oh, you wouldn't want to be lame now, would you? Better subscribe. Number, Number six. six. Ringo Starr because he eats puppies. Number, Number five. five. When your headphones get stuck on something and you don't notice, so you walk away and it pulls your headphones off. That sucks. Number, Number four. four. John Lennon. If you go to John Lennon's Instagram page, you will see it's filled with nothing but pro-ISIS propaganda. Not cool, John. Those are the bad guys. Number, Number three. three. Vegetables. Vegetables are yucky. Why can't I just have chips? Number, Number two. two. Billy Shears. Billy Shears isn't even a real person. It's an alias Ringo Starr came up with to avoid standing trial for the war crimes he committed against the Cambodians between 1975 and 1979. After he was outed as the murderous dictator he is by Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, he again changed his name, this time to Ringo Starr, and is still on the run today. I can only hope that these brave, colourful men can one day bring an end to the Beatles' reign of terror. Number, Number one. one. Mondays, am I right? 